False field analysis is a useful decision-making technique created by Kurt Lewin in the 1940s. It helps you make a decision by analysing the forces for and against a change, and it helps you communicate the reasoning behind your decision. You can use it for two purposes, to decide whether to go ahead with the change and to increase your chances of success by strengthening the forces supporting change and weakening those against it. To carry out a force field analysis, use a blank sheet of paper or whiteboard. Then, describe your plan or proposal for change in a box in the middle of the paper. List the forces for change in a column on the left-hand side and the forces against change in a column on the right-hand side. As you do this, consider the following questions. What business benefit will the change deliver? Who supports the change? Who is against it? Why are they against it? How easy will it be to make the change? Do you have enough time and resources to make it work? What costs are involved? What other business processes will be affected by the change? And what are the risks? It's important to identify as many of the factors that will influence the change as you can. Where appropriate, involve other people, such as team members or experts in your organisation. For a visual representation of the influence that each force has, draw arrows around them. Use bigger arrows for the forces that will have a greater influence on the change and smaller arrows for forces that will have less of an influence. Next, assign a score to each force. For example, one is a weak force and five is a strong force. And then add up the scores for each column. Once you've done your force field analysis, you can use it in two ways to decide whether or not to move forward with a decision or change, and to think about how you can strengthen the forces that support the change and weaken the forces opposing it, so that the change is more successful. Don't underestimate how much work a force field analysis can involve. We've used a simple example here, but there will be many factors that you'll need to consider for complex decisions and changes.